Hello, this is a video to show how to replace the blower wheel in your train furnace. Uh, sometimes the welds come loose in the uh, blower wheels, and uh, in the background is an example of the noise that will make this happen. First thing you need to do uh, before you do anything else is to cut the power to your AC. So find your breaker box, and hopefully it's labeled. Uh, if not, you'll need to make sure. Uh, somehow, just make sure the power is off going to your AC. After you cut the power, uh, you need to remove the panels to the furnace. Um, the panels, uh, you have to remove one panel before the other, they, the way they fit together. Um, it's pretty easy to figure it out. I'll slip the first one out and then the other one will slide over and then it will slip out as well. Um, Moving these panels, you'll have access to your uh, the blower wheel assembly. After you get your panels off, you will see your blower wheel assembly behind your circuit board that has all your electrical connections. Next, you're going to need to remove all of the electrical connections that um, are connected to the blower wheel assembly. So, clip any zip lines that are keep your wires nice and tidy and um, track the wires that go to your blower wheel assembly. They should be coming over the top of the blower wheel and keep very good track of uh, what color wires go exactly where. Take photos if you need to, write them down. Uh, make sure you know where they go. You're gonna need to slip these two, the two wires that you see right here off of the uh, blower wheel as well. And they're connected to your uh, wire assembly. Next thing you're going to need to do is um, remove the circuit board by uh, unscrewing. There's two screws going into the side of the furnace panel wall. And uh, just remove those here. You can see one where my screwdriver is and the other one just above that. Take both of those out. Next, you're going to need to remove the two screws that uh, secure the blower wheel assembly. And uh, this is the best tool that I found to do that. Uh, it's just a regular screwdriver with a, uh, an extension and um, works really well for reaching those uh, two screws. In this photo, I'm pointing at the location of the bottom screw. Um, the top screw is at the, uh, in the same, approximately the same location, just uh, up above the blower wheel. Um, so there's only two, one below, one above. Once you get the two screws uh, removed, uh, you can pull the blower assembly out now. You can see in this photo there's uh, some tracks that the blower wheel assembly uh, slide in on. Um, so just uh, shimmy or slide the blower wheel assembly out uh, on these tracks. Okay, congratulations. You now have the blower assembly out of the uh, furnace unit. So now we need to get the uh, blower wheel out of the blower assemblies. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to loosen that lock nut right there, which is connecting the blower wheel to the motor. So just uh, unscrew, loosen that nut right there. With that nut loosened, and you should be able to slip your blower wheel up and down. Um, Turn the entire blower assembly over. Grab a pair of needle nose pliers and uh, pull these two connections off. Next thing we need to do is to unscrew these three screws right here, which on my blower wheel assembly is a 5 16 nut. With those three screws loosened, you should be able to just slip your motor out and your blower wheel is now um, loose inside the assembly. So now we need to um, open up the assembly a little bit so we can get the blower wheel out. Look at your blower wheel assembly in this position. There's the screws right here and right here. 
and on the other side, right here, and right there, um, you should just have to loosen these, uh, these first two, this one, and this one, and that will enable you to pull this flat back, and you'll be able to get your uh, blower wheel out. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen those two screws. With those two screws loose, I was able to uh, pull my blower wheel out. And it's important to remember the orientation of everything. So the blower wheel went in with its uh, the nut on the left side. If you keep your uh, assembly casing the same, you can remember that. Um, so now it's time to find your new blower wheel. I wanted to show you what was wrong with my blower wheel. Um, these welds right here at each connection um, had come loose and so consequence um, this part was not secured to the actual wheel and so when it spun it's gonna make a noise and it's gonna rattle. So uh, that's one of the things that can go wrong with these. So with the new blower wheel with the nut on the left side Slip it down into your casing. And uh, push this flap back into place and put those two screws that you took out um, to remove this, to uh, allow this flap to come up, put those back in place. So with the assembly now in this position, um, you can put your motor back in. I'm going to have to stop the camera. Okay, just make sure your um, the motor slips down into the uh, blower wheel, okay, and then line your holes up and uh, screw your screws back in. And you can go ahead and put these two um, wires back here uh, if you want to do that before you turn it over. Okay, with those two screws back in and those two wires hooked back up, uh, go ahead and flip your assembly back over. Okay, so now it's time to tighten uh, your nut on the uh, blower wheel. The trick here is to uh, take your blower wheel to the extremes. So the down extreme, which it should be already be at, pull it up all the way as far as it'll go. That's the extreme the other way. So try to find the, the happy medium in between those two extremes and uh, tighten your nut. So once your nut's tied, just make sure that your blower wheel spins freely. It doesn't hit anything, doesn't make any noise. Um, forgot to tell you, it's a good idea to, um, once you have everything down and apart, to go ahead and clean everything. Just uh, wipe it down with a rag. Um, I haven't done this because this isn't the assembly that I'm actually putting back up in my attic. Um, so this is a spare assembly I had. So uh, just it's nice to get everything uh, nice and clean. Um, so this is the end. Um, uh, to get this blower wheel back into place, just do the reverse of what I talked about um, in the first part of this video. Um, slip the assembly back in, uh, making sure it's on the rails. That's probably the hardest part of this job is uh, putting the uh, blower assembly back in and making sure it's on the rails. Um, tighten the two screws that secure the blower assembly. Um, put the um, circuit board back on. Screw the two screws back into place. Um, hook all your wires back up. Refer to a, whatever method you use to keep track of your wires. I refer back to that. Make sure the uh, all the colors go into the right spot. Um, close up your uh, panel doors, turn the power back on, and uh, hopefully you have a working air conditioner. Okay, um, congrats, and uh, I'll see you next time.